Last step in generating our second biome is to create an algorithm that will actually use the parameters that we have generated in our terrain generator for the temperature in our biomes to actually place those different biomes to use different biome generator for the chunk column depending on the distance from each the biome centers. So what we can do is we will go to our terrain generator script and edit the script. Uh, let's go at the top. And we have a list of biomes inside those biome data structs. So here in our generate chunk data, at the start we were using the tree data, calling the get tree data from our biome generator. Now the problem that we are going to face when transitioning between different biomes is the terrain height. Now, basically, based on which biome we are going to select, we may select a biome that has a very high terrain, and we may want to select a biome that has a bit lower terrain, and when we want to transition from one to another, we may see this very high, very tall wall of sun, for example. So, to mitigate this, we are going to uh, linearly interpolate between the values, depending on the uh, this distance from each biome center and our algorithm will calculate the uh, to basically the interpolated terrain height so that we can kind of merge between those different biomes to generate something interesting yet traversable okay so at the bottom of our terrain generator we are going to create a new class and this will be a public class biome generator selection and it will contain public biome generator reference called biome generator let me rename it okay and we are going to have a public int with question mark so this will be a nullable value so this can take a null or can take int value called terrain surface noise equals null this is because if we do not want to set it then we have it as null and we are going to generate our uh, terrain surface noise using our default generator else if we want to transition between two different biomes and this will be for the most uh, mostly we are going to pass to it our terrain surface noise and next we are going to use this terrain surface noise instead of calculating our own surface noise using this biome generator and this is just because our custom algorithm will generate this for us this value and we want to simply use it to generate our terrain. Okay, so we are going to basically get this value here at, uh, in the generate chunk data. So we are going to create above this tree data, we are going to have biome generation selection. So biome selection equals, and we are going to have a select biome generator method. And this will take in the data, so this is our uh, chunk data dot world position, and basically this will be it. So let's right click on this quick actions and generate this method. Now, knowing that we have this uh, here a biome generator, we can instead of calling this tree data equals tree data, we want to co uh, comment this out, and instead of assigning this data dot tree data equals tree data, we are going to call our a biome selection dot biome generator dot get tree data and we are going to pass to it the same parameters that we have passed above okay and as you might recall if we go to the definition if tree generator is equal to null we are going to simply return new tree data which will give us uh, a way to escape the situation where we do not have tree generator layer on our in our biome and here inside this for loop uh, we will need to calculate this a bit differently so uh, we are going to pass here biome selection dot uh, equals our select biome generator and we are going to pass here new vector 3 and then based on this position so x 0 and z we will know which biome should we select and i forgot about one thing that inside our biome generator we will want to use a domain warping so to modify the position to give it a bit of an offset to have a bit more interesting terrain 
Now for the tree generation we do not want to do it because we want to generate the trees for this specific chunk and based on this we want to select the biome that is assigned to this chunk. But for our positions here we may want to tweak the position to generate a bit more interesting terrain. So I will want to pass here false at the first select biome generator and now we can right click on this and go to the definition and let's take a bool value as the second parameter and use domain warping equals by default it will be equals to a true actually so if we want to use domain warping we are going to simply pass the position if we do not want to use domain warping for the tree generation we may want to pass false and this is just for the sake of selecting the tree generator let's rename this world position to be simply position and we are going to have first if we want to use the domain warping we are going to simply reuse our default domain biome domain warping that we have used for the offsetting the center points of our biomes then we can have a different domain warping for this but basically this is how we can tweak our generation so we want to calculate the, the domain offset and we want to add to this position this domain offset so we have we can create our um, those lines that are not straight but rather they go and uh, wander meander around so after this first thing that we are going to need is to get the information about the biomes around this specific point so we are going to create a list of biome generation selections biome selection helpers equals get biome generator selection helpers passing that position and this will return as a list since as i have shown you before we are going to get some point somewhere around those biomes and we will need to know what are the biomes around this point so we can select the correct, uh, correct biome to use to generate this point. Okay, we are going to right click and uh, quick actions and generate this method. So let's implement this method. So we are going to reset the position to be y equals zero. We are going to generate a list of generation uh, generator selections. Uh, and we are going to call it biome selection helpers and we are going to call get closest biome indices to generate those around this position so let's right click on this method quick actions and generate it and we are going to return it so we could possibly simply return here to make this method a bit shorter so what we will want to do is get the closest biome uh, biome uh, types around this position and we are going to need to have a helper struct so let's create the struct before we create this method this will be private struct biome selection helper this will have an index and a distance this is simply to define that we know uh, we, this is the index in our uh, list of biome data and the distance will be used to select the biomes that are the closest based on the four biomes that we find around our point and actually in this method we want to uh, return this biome selection helper uh, as a list so here we are going to return this list and get biome and we are going to have this list here okay sorry about this so we are going to return biome selection helpers in this get biome generator selection helpers and we are going to call this get closest biome index to generate this list okay and here we are going to simply calculate so we are going to return and we are going to use the biome centers and again we are going to use link to select and we are going to select the center point so this is the point in our list as well as we can select the index so we can save the index in this uh, on our list of center points okay and we are going to call simply tool list at the end so what we are going to do with those parameters is lambda expression and we are going to call our uh, we are going to create a new biome selection helper and this is just to save the index as the distance we are going to join this as a new uh, struct and we are going to assign index x is equal to index of the center point on our list and we are going to assign our distance to be simply our vector three dot distance and we are going to calculate the center point and the position to get the distance from this 
uh, position to the center point of our biome. And since we are going to return all of those uh, center points, we need to sort this. So before we uh, return a list, we are going to call dot order by, and this is another link method that will allow us to order those biome selection helpers by some value. So we're going to get the uh, helper, and we are going to sort this using our helper dot distance. So now we are going to get the order from the smallest distance to the largest distance using this order by method. Uh, here is the documentation sorts the elements of the sequence in ascending order. So we are going to get smallest at the start and the biggest at the end. Okay, and since again we do not want to return all of those, we are going to call take. And we are going to take four of those. And uh, we need to return, of course, the list so we can put it all in one line. Okay, so again, the point of this method was to select all the point centers, calculate the distance, and save the index so that we can get the reference to the center point. If we know the distance, then we can order those points by the smallest from the smallest to the largest distance from our position. And we want to take four biome centers that are closest to our position and we want to convert it to a list. So this will return here, and this will return our list in our selection, uh, select biome generator method. Now all we need to do is actually select two of those or three of those, but if we select more biomes to take into account, then the calculation will take longer, and basically get the specific biome that we want to use for this specific position. I think that we are going to take a break and in the next video we are going to finish implementing this method and we are going to test our algorithm. Okay, so let's save it and in the next video we are going to continue.